Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again with another LaunchBox tutorial and this is kind of a cross between LaunchBox for Windows and LaunchBox for Android because in this video I'm going to show you how to easily export your games from your Windows version of LaunchBox over to your Android version of LaunchBox. So if we uh, head up here to our tools, export to Android. So this is really simple to use, but real quick, let's take a look at my tablet. So from here, we'll just start up LaunchBox. And as you can see, I've already imported a few systems. I've got N64, Dreamcast, and PSP. I've done this all on the Android device itself. I'm using an Android tablet. And we completely understand that this can be a bit time consuming to get, you know, all of your games that you might already have set up on your Windows version of LaunchBox over to Android. So we wanted to make it really easy to get your games over to your Android device. And that's where export to Android comes in. All right, so like I mentioned, we've made this really easy to do. And I've got my Android tablet plugged into my PC right now. You don't have to plug it in just yet, but I did want to show you here. I've got two storage devices with this tablet. I've got my SD card and my internal storage. So when exporting these games over to your Android device, just decide what you want to run these on. So uh, I usually just use my uh, micro SD card because this does have micro SD card support. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and export some games. And along with the games, this is also going to export the metadata, images, and videos. So you won't need to scrape anything on your Android tablet. All of this will work over there. It's going to transfer right over. So there's a couple ways of going about this. And what I'm going to do is just head over to my Game Boy section because I haven't imported any of these to my Android device yet. And uh, I'm going to select a few. Now this is the first method. Now if you just want to select a few games or specific games to export, you can always do it. I'm holding shift here and I can select these games right here. Now from tools, what we're going to do is choose export to Android. I would highly recommend to just read through all of these prompts, but we're going to choose next here. And as you can see, export the 10 selected games. So those are the games we just selected in my Game Boy section. We can go ahead and export those selected games if we want to, or export my whole collection. Now this can get quite large, but we do have an option to select which platforms you want to export. So for this video, I'm just going to select a few, kind of make this a uh, little quicker. I'm going to go with Game Boy because I don't have that imported yet. I'm also going to go with, uh, let's do just NES and we'll do Sega Genesis. So what this is going to do is export each one of these platforms for me, the game, the metadata, the artwork, and the videos. We have a few more options here. You can extract the archives if you want to, but a lot of these newer emulators on Android just work with compressed games. We can also choose our favorites only from that specific platform, and this is actually a really awesome little option here. So if you did go through, you know, each of your platforms here and just favorite some games that you want to export over, you can just select it from here, which will make that file size much smaller, depending on how many games you favorited. And uh, we can also export the additional versions. For me, I'm just going to go with my full Sega Genesis collection, Game Boy and NES collection. So I'll choose next. Now we have the option to select the media we want to export along with these games. And I'm just going to go with everything here. I want my videos, I want the background, images, clear logos, and boxes for each one of these games. We'll choose next. Now we can use the default location where we want to export these to, and that's going to be in LaunchBox, Metadata, Temp, Android Export, or you can browse and kind of just put it on your desktop or your downloads, it's really up to you. But we do not recommend exporting them from here to your Android device. I'm gonna leave it in the default location, LaunchBox, Metadata, Temp, Android Export, choose Next, and now we're ready. So once we hit Next, it's gonna go ahead and get all of that ready for us in that Temp folder. This could take a little time depending on how many games you wanted to export here. So we'll just go ahead and let this finish up. All right, so now that the export is done, there's actually two ways we can transfer this over. We can uh, copy the files over to our device via USB, or we can do it manually. I personally like to do it manually, but before I do anything, I always like to take a look at the size of the export we just did. And you can find this in your LaunchBox folder, Metadata. We're gonna find Temp, Android Export, and this is the full folder that we're going to be transferring over to our Android device. So this is 16 gigabytes. We've got all of the videos, images, all of those games for the three systems. So yeah, I mean, exporting your whole collection can get large. But I definitely have enough storage on my device. So I'm just going to go ahead and plug it in. 
As you can see, I'm going to be using my SD card. I've got 55 gigabytes free here, so we've got plenty there. Now, like I mentioned, there are two ways to transfer this. We can do it inside of LaunchBox, but personally, I find that doing it manually is a bit faster copying it over. It's really up to you. If you want to do it through LaunchBox, we can browse right here, find our device. I'm going to go to my SD, and you can choose OK. We want to go to that root directory because that's where our LaunchBox folder is. So right in the root of my SD card or root of my internal storage. But for me, I actually like to do it manually. It's going to go ahead and tell us that we're ready for manual export. We can open the export package folder, which is going to be in our LaunchBox metadata temp Android export. I'm going to snap this over to the right hand side. Now I'm going to find my tablet right on the root of my SD. Or if you're using internal, put it on the internal. So I'm just going to take this, copy it over here, make sure I don't put it in another folder. It's going to ask me if I want to overwrite a couple files. I'm going to do this for all. Choose yes. And we'll let this transfer over. Once this is finished, we can move back over to our Android device and we'll have those new systems we just exported from the Windows version of LaunchBox. All right, so that export is finished transferring over to my Android device from my PC. And as you can see here, I've just left LaunchBox open just to show you we've still only got that N64, Dreamcast, and PSP. I'm going to go ahead and exit this. We'll start it right back up. And now we've got NES, Game Boy, and Sega Genesis. Those were the three platforms that I exported from my Windows PC. Head right in here, and as you can see, we've got all of our games imported here, all of the artwork. Let's go ahead and check those other two systems. We did Game Boy, got our Game Boy section set up, ready to go. And finally, Sega Genesis. And with this one, I've got my videos, I exported all of this from my Windows build of LaunchBox over to a nice little package we could transfer to LaunchBox for Android super easily. But that's going to wrap it up for this one. If you have any questions, let us know down in the comments below. And definitely keep an eye on the LaunchBox forum and the YouTube channel because we've always got new stuff coming for LaunchBox and BigBox. But like always, thanks for watching.